Ready, bud? Hello, everybody. So, as you can hear, the bus is started. Just finished up some meetings. Have a couple more meetings later in the day. Bus is a little bit of a wreck because I am still fighting what I call the ghost mouse. This stupid little mouse has been everywhere in the bus. I have so many different things out trying to get this guy. Glue traps. Multiple glue traps. I'll show you what's going on. Natural repellent. This entire time, I haven't even seen it once. I'll show you what I got going underneath there. I have to change out the stupid drain again. This is literally like the fourth or fifth one. I tried Sika flexing the hole. It's not sealing it correctly because it goes on the backside and I can't exactly see where to seal it. Just a huge pain. I really hope I catch this thing in a glue trap. But, Kobe's and I are heading out of the RV spot. Basically, as I'm filming, everybody that I'm going to be filming is coming to me. So I don't have to leave the bus out in public land, which is what I don't want to do. Just been filming nonstop. Haven't been doing too much filming on the vlog because literally every day I have a tour. And getting to the tour, setting it up, filming, getting back, uploading the footage, it's just the same monotonous thing. Just hustling while I can while I'm here in Arizona. Tons of tours down here. The Cobes and I are about to head out, going to go to the next spot. So this is a dry camping spot. It is a RV park up north that has dry camping for 20 bucks a night. And basically the reason why I pay that is while I'm out filming, it's just a ease of mind that it's not out in the middle of nowhere in public land. Like I don't have to worry about anybody recognizing the bus. And it is kind of one of those things where the build of the bus, you know, from start to finish across Facebook and YouTube, it's gotten like 30, 32 million views and it's paid for over half the bus, which is awesome. The negative to that is <clears throat> some people might recognize the bus and not that everybody's going to try and break in, but if somebody of the stealing mindset knows what's in the bus, it's not good overall. So it's worth the peace of mind for me to pay the 20 bucks a night here. I'm able to fill my tanks, dump the urine tank before I leave, which is 30 gallons. Um, just pipe straight down from the Nature's Head composting toilet. And just that, like I said, ease of mind while I'm out filming. I don't have to worry about the bus. It's worth it, but as I said before, everybody's coming to me for the next tours, so we'll be good to go. Everybody. Got the cobs out there, got more mouse traps. We have a development. <sighs> okay. So this is underneath the sink. You can see that I have been putting this these mouse traps, these sticky traps everywhere. And I put a new one right there. And what he's doing is actually going from the outside, working his way up through. Actually, it doesn't make sense. How does he get through the little P section? But look, he even left 
like the pieces, but the only way is if he's getting, like, coming down from right there. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, I was thinking that he's going outside, going through this, and then chewing that right there. This doesn't make any sense. All right, we are on try eight or nine of capturing or killing or getting rid of this mouse. I have a bunch of new goodies. I think what I'm gonna try and do, is basically what happens is the angle down underneath the sink requires me to have this flex. I might try and modify things down there. I bought some extra couplers and flexible pieces to make it so that downpipe is able to take a normal, you know, straight plastic um, P-trap and then go from there. It's gonna be a little bit of a test, but here we go. Forget why we use the flexible one. Might have been for trash. But I'm thinking throw this guy on. So now he can't get to that. Now it's to make this angle. Which May not work. So just make a ninety out of that. Like that. We'll have double P trap, but I can always change it after. Once I kill this guy. guy your move got some other treats for him I'll show you okay so I also found evidence that our mouse friend who I like to call ghost mouse has been getting in the underbay as well as up here so in the underbay I found you know his droppings down there but also in the composting material he decided to make a little nest in there I threw a little glue trap in there we'll see if that works but I think I figured out what was happening and how he's getting in. So this is this is my bathroom right now. Um, this cabinet right up here is the electrical and that is has just been open. Like basically with this cover in the bathroom, I didn't have to worry about it. But I don't know if you can see down there, you might be able to see a tire. I'm carrying somebody's rad power bike right now and he's climbing up that rad bike and getting in. So I'm gonna seal this up. on the mouse friend. Sorry, this vlog is all about a stupid mouse. But, underneath here, we have not seen any evidence of the mouse. So, I removed the trash cans. I'm putting them right there right now. But, the trash cans are out because I think what he was doing was getting on the trash can, coming down, and eating that pipe. So, obviously I have a sticky trap right here. And then even if he is able to get on there, he can't get past that. I have sticky traps on top and any access point there in the bottom. So far, this is the longest that I've gone without chewed pipes in probably three weeks. I also sealed up that hole with the, with the uh, spray foam. 
and so far I have not seen him trying to chew on it. One thing that I did do, and something that I've sprayed everywhere, I grabbed this from Home Depot, rodent repellent. Basically it's like a, uh, it's like a peppery peppermint oil. And I've been spraying this everywhere. I sprayed this on the foam, both top and bottom, so he can't chew through. Also been spraying up there. You can see the shirt in there right now. Because I'll spray a bunch of this up there. Shove the shirt up there. Basically, everywhere around where I know he was at before, I've sprayed this. And I have not seen him. Um, no glue traps have him right now. So I don't know if he just ran out of the bus or he was in the underbay. I sprayed a lot of it in the underbay. Haven't seen any evidence of him down there either. So, hopefully I got rid of that stupid mouse. And a benefit now, any mouse that tries to come into this bus, I have so many traps and so many glue traps that I don't need to worry about it. I sealed up the hole, so fingers crossed he is gone forever.